Whoops. Oh, hi there, YouTube. Uh, I accidentally another 240. Well, long story short, I got rid of the, the 79 242 GT that I took on that Lemons Rally that just barely survived. But uh, I sold that and didn't plan on replacing it. And I planned on putting the money into the uh, four door sedan over there and then the V8 Volvo that I started working on in my last video. And then, uh, well, I crossed paths with this. And so I decided to knock on the guy's door and see if he was interested in selling it. And this guy seemed like a pretty cool guy. And and said he'd be willing to sell it. Got to talk back and forth a little bit, and I ended up scooping up this old girl for 500 bucks. She is a 1992 244. I believe it's just a DL. I'm not 100% positive on all the L's. I guess there's probably a little logo back here we could probably verify it with. Ah, uh, yeah, it's just a 240. I don't know. But this is actually the newest car I own, which is weird to think about that the 92 is the newest car I own, because, well, it's not really that new of a car. But... Uh, yeah, she's not too bad. She's missing some trim pieces, as you can see, and a couple of stuff sagging over here. Uh, it looks like it's been sitting for a couple of years. The wiper transmission's kind of all not doing great, and there's some drawings and stuff in the window, some arts and crafts, and a couple other things. But I guess we'll kind of go through the front and the rear. Uh, here's the driver's side. It's a power windows car, so I now have two cars with power windows, which is moving up there, like, and two cars with airbags, so really... I'm moving up in life, but it's missing some door cards, and the interior's got a little bit of dirt in it, which isn't too bad. Um, there's some, some snacks down here, and then a hubcap that fell off on the way home, but we managed to get it. And uh, there's a Pioneer radio with a Bluetooth in it, which is pretty snazzy. Uh, it's got a 160,000 odometer, but he said the odometer hasn't worked in several years. So I'm assuming it's probably maybe near 200, but it's a Volvo. They don't really care about mileage. One really, really, really cool feature that I'm super stoked on is this i now have a car with cup holders ah oh, that's gonna be glorious all the mountain dews and all the cup holders back seats in really good shape as well i don't know if there's a cup holders back here i'm doubting it i don't think they've ever offered that but yeah back seats in really good shape obviously there's a lot of dirt and debris and leaves and stuff like that but that'll be a good vacuum job i can get that fixed up and uh looks like i'm missing a couple little trim pieces over here easy stuff to knock out Ooh, a bonus fuse Snazzy, you hear a raccoon. I'm gonna have to end that dude sometime soon. Um, let's see what we got now here in the trunk. There's some extra bonus stuff too. Some seals, some uh, pieces of trim, an owner's manual, which is pretty fancy. And uh, looks like that's probably a fuel filter, I think. Yeah, a fuel filter, which these are super easy to change. A couple oil filters, some relays, some other fun stuff. So. Yeah, I think I'm going to probably go through, I'm going to dump some of that acid stuff that I dropped in the 242 that cleaned out all the uh, pine needles and stuff in that car, probably in the gutter of this car as well, and get all that junk kind of cleaned out here, because it's got a little bit of a collection of stuff going on in here, as you can see. And then uh, we maybe we'll buff the paint up, shine up the headlights, and get a new battery for it, and do a couple of other little odds and ends. It does have a broken tie rod end. To be honest, I haven't crawled underneath it to look at it, so I don't know how broken... It is broken, but it is the broken. Looks like it needs new strut hats and a couple of little odds and ends. Looks like it needs a cam seal. It's got some IPD spark plug wires, which is also pretty fancy. And uh, yeah, it's really all I know of it, to be honest. Uh, I don't know how great it runs, really, or anything like that. So I may go grab my jumper pack and we'll go fire it up and check some fluids over, because it's probably been a hot minute. I'm guessing it's been sitting for a couple of years, but I don't know for sure. And uh, yeah, I'm pretty stoked. I know it's not another true sell video. I will eventually put that car together. That's the car I bought out in Banger that I actually kind of started my channel with. And that will eventually get put together. It's probably going to be a winter project, though. I got a few other things in the works, like getting that running and getting that running. But that's later on. So, anyway, enough yakking. Let's go ahead and uh, get her fired up and see how she sounds. Nope, that's backwards. <laughs> we'll set that out. No, we won't. Too lazy. Ah ha ha! It's alive!
Well, the transmission seems to be about bone dry and the motor's a little bit on the loud side, but it's also been sent for a while, so not too terribly surprising. Uh, oil's a little bit dirty, but not, all, not terrible, all things considered. It's got power steering fluid, which is a bonus. And it's got brake fluid, a little bit dirty, but easy stuff to take care of. So, yeah, I guess this is my new project. Uh, I think first things first I'm gonna do is I'm gonna probably change the oil, uh, change that tire right end out, and do some cleaning up on the inside and the outside, and do a handful of other little odds and ends and get her, uh, get her pretty decently dialed in. But, uh, yeah, let's scoop inside of here. Let's check out how she feels. The seat's really nice, which is a surprise. Obviously, we got a gauge bulb out, but that's pretty easy to fix. I'm actually going to buy LEDs for the 244, so that'll be an easy thing for me to just quick convert one over to here. So, oh, that was too much of a load for it, and it died. So, I guess that's all we're going to do, but it has a radio, which seemingly looks like it has Bluetooth, which is pretty snazzy. So, yeah, I'll get rid of some of the arts and crafts and clean the inside out and get it shined up a little bit. Maybe I'll do that tomorrow or Sunday. We'll see. It's a Friday night right now. But, yeah, I'm super stoked. I guess we'll see how this goes and see what happens with her next. Throw in some uh, beefier sway bars on it and do a couple little odds and ends and kind of see how it turns out. But, I don't know. We'll see how it goes. I'm super excited. Uh, saved another Volvo. So, uh, I guess stay tuned. I'll have some videos coming out of this soon along with uh, the 244 and the 262. And then eventually that thing will get worked on. Same with the wagon. That uh, The tur Volvo wagon needs a few little odds and ends yet. But... Anyway, that's all I got for today. I appreciate you guys watching, and I'll catch you at the next one.